Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at your writing prompt that deals with the setting of The Great Gatsby. Okay, so you guys have already done a um, analysis of passages in regards to various settings in this text. And now you get to choose one and write a literary analysis about it. So up top, we have the prompt here. And it says, what is the impact of one of the settings East Egg, West Egg, or the Valley of Ashes on the Great Gatsby? So that is your big question that you have to answer in your literary analysis, okay? That means you're really gonna be analyzing the setting and the effect that it has overall on this text, okay? So to help you get to that, okay, we have a lot of brainstorming and pre-writing that you're gonna do to help get your ideas out on paper, to help find your textual evidence, so that when it comes time to write, you've got the bulk of the information already here for you, okay? So the first thing you need to do on this document is simply tell us which setting are you gonna work with? Do you wanna write about East Egg, West Egg, or the Valley of Ashes? Three really distinct locations, choose one, okay? Then you have a chart, all right? Um, and we're gonna go through this in a minute, but you have three questions here, um, very specific questions that you're being asked. You, of course, have to give an answer to the question, and then, as always, we love textual support, okay? So you're not getting out of this without including some textual support. Um, and then, down here at the bottom, you're going to be asked to go ahead and create a thesis statement for your literary analysis, okay? And then under that, you're going to write your answer to the prompt on a separate sheet of paper um, or within this document to help you start getting those ideas out, okay? Then you'll be able to polish them and make them pretty, all right? So let's talk a little bit about what's happening in this chart because this is where you're gonna pull in most of the information that is going to help you actually write this thing, okay? So the first question that you are given how does the setting affect the characters? So how does this location, the time, all of those things impact the people in your novel, all right? So you wanna give an explanation, a response, an answer to that. So I've written specifically about the West Egg that the setting of West Egg mirrors the characters who live there. The people of West Egg are not the old money established wealthy of East Egg. Okay, that's one of the big contradictions we see. East Egg is old money, West Egg is new money, like Gatsby, all right? So these people haven't always been rich and they are trying to prove how wealthy they are to others through their material possessions or elaborate parties even. Um, so Nick's house, however, is not nearly as fashionable as the rest as we learned very early on in chapter one. Like Nick, his house does not seem to fit in or belong to its surroundings, okay? So that is my response to how does the setting affect the character. So if you choose to write on East Egg um, or the Valley of Ashes, you're gonna have an entirely different answer. There's actually other possibilities that you could probably come up with for how the West Egg affects the characters. That's up to you, okay? This is just one possibility. Then I pulled in some textual evidence so you're gonna see this quote here where Nick very clearly tells us that he does live at West Egg, which he claims to be the less fashionable of the two. And then I pulled in another quote um, where he says, my house was at the very tip of the egg, only 50 yards from the sound and squeezed between two huge places that rented for 12 or 15,000 a season. So reiterating um, how Nick feels that his home is so much smaller um, and modest than those around him. Okay, so those quotes are both very specific to the location that I'm gonna write about, to the setting I'm gonna write about. Um, and then I would go on and talk about what tone is created in this setting. So how does that speaker, how does that narrator feel? What is the tone from the author, okay, that is created in regards to the setting that you choose. And then finally, you're gonna highlight what are some specific word choices Fitzgerald makes when discussing this setting. And then more importantly, what is the impact of these specific word choices on meaning? So that's when you're really, again, gonna take it back to the author's craft. You're gonna look at that diction and how that diction helps to create a meaning for how this setting is viewed and interpreted and how you're going to analyze it, okay? So you'll write a response here, 
you'll pull in textual evidence here. And these will eventually become things, body paragraphs that you can write about um, or that you will develop as you write your literary analysis on a setting of your choice.